What is up with Waluigi? At face value, you could argue Waluigi is probably the least important playable character in the Mario universe. He'll show up from time to time as part of most sport and party games, but aside from that, Waluigi has no game to call his own. You've got Mario games, Luigi games, tons of Wario games, a Peach game, heck, even Daisy is the princess of a Mario game. She's the princess of Sar... 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 The Game Boy games. And like, come on. Wario had an upside down M on his hat, and that makes it a W. Makes sense. Well, Luigi has an upside down L. That's like the Greek letter for gamma? I don't know. But despite how non-legit Waluigi may seem, I can't stop picking him. Mario Party? Team Wa. Mario Kart? Team Wa. Strikers? Team Wa- Oh my god! Is Waluigi seriously crotch chopping the opposition right now? Oh, there's no doubt about it! Good lord! So today, for fun, I wanted to round up some fun facts about everyone's favorite gangly crotch chopping Mario villain. So for starters, where the heck does Waluigi even come from? In terms of direct appearances, Waluigi was specifically conceived for Mario Tennis on the Nintendo 64. His creation is credited to an idea by a Camelot employee, Fumihide Aoki, while working on Mario Tennis and noting that 1. the game should have more human characters, since it is tennis after all, and 2. it would be fun to provide Wario with a fitting doubles partner. Shigeru Miyamoto was brought in for consultation on Waluigi's design, and he ended up as a rival to Luigi as well. His name is a combination of the words Warui, an adjective meaning evil in Japanese, and Ruiji, that's the, the green guy. It's also been noted that an evil Wa Peach was considered at some point during this development. Trust me, Nintendo, we didn't need one. You already gave us Daisy. Hi, I'm Daisy! Wario was designed as an extreme exaggeration of Mario. Mario's a little short and a little plump, so Wario is very fat. Likewise, to counter Luigi, who is taller and thinner, Waluigi is thin as a rail and stands well over his other Mushroom Kingdom friends. Waluigi's design is sometimes speculated by fans as originating, at least in part, from Foreman Spike, the main villain from the Nintendo game Wrecking Crew. The original art for Foreman Spike definitely resembles Wario more, but the purple theme is also prevalent. By the time Foreman Spike was redesigned for Wrecking Crew 98, it definitely bears a passing resemblance to Waluigi. Waluigi also has a crane cart, the Gold Mantis, that looks exactly like the one used by Spike. Oh yeah, and there's also the Eggplant Man as a prominent foe in Wrecking Crew, and Waluigi often has an association with the Eggplant, like in Sluggers. And to top it all off, Waluigi's theme in DDR, Mario Mix, is a remix of the Wrecking Crew bonus stage. The conspiracy is real. Voice actor Charles Martinet, also the voice of all the other Mario characters with colored hats, describes Waluigi's personality as one of self-pity. He believes that he fails in life because everyone around him is playing foul, even if that isn't necessarily the real truth. Still, it does leave us with this amazing phrase. The Waluigi! Everybody cheating but me! <laughs> From the year 2000 and beyond, Waluigi began appearing in just about every Mario Ensemble game, mainly the sport and party titles. But even as early as Mario Party 3, Waluigi saw a somewhat major role, even defeating Bowser toward the end and providing the game's final unlockable map. He also plays a major antagonist in Dance Dance Revolution, Mario Mix. Waluigi's goal is to flood the world with chaos and hypnotize the rhythmless masses with his moves. Wow. And speaking of flood, Waluigi is a waterbender. I'm dead serious. In both basketball and tennis, Waluigi shows the ability to summon a giant mass of water to swim through. It's bizarre. All I can think of is, well, uh, Mario and Luigi shoot fire, while Luigi is the opposite of them, so we use his water to cool the fire. I don't know. Everything changed when the Water Nation attacked. Waluigi Pinball is pretty much the best Mario Kart course ever. I don't really have any added facts or info here, I just really like Waluigi Pinball. Even though Waluigi depressingly wasn't in Mario Kart 7, but the stupid Bee Queen thing is, they still brought Waluigi Pinball back, so I guess we're cool for now. And in Super Smash Bros, Waluigi appears as an assist trophy, first in Smash Bros Brawl, where he'll curb stomp you into the ground and then launch you with a tennis racket. You know who else was an assist trophy in Smash Bros Brawl? So when I learned that Little Mac could evolve from an assist trophy into a playable character, I held my hopes up for Waluigi. But... Well, at least I can play as Mario Waluigi. Or Luigi Waluigi. 
likely won't get a main series Waluigi game anytime soon. Heck, we can't even get him as a Smash Bros. fighter. It's been 15 years, and despite how irrelevant Waluigi still is today, I still can't get enough of this guy. He's so awkward, so creepy, and just so silly when compared to the usual Mushroom Kingdom antics. Wherever he goes, I'll be Team Wa for life. That's it for today's Nintendo Fact video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, you can click the subscribe button or leave a thumbs up to let YouTube know that you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you want to see more Waluigi action, check out my Twitch channel over at twitch.tv slash thejwits. We live stream Mario Party games every single Monday, and we're doing a special Mario Party 10 launch party this coming Monday before the game is out in US stores. You can follow our Twitch channel by clicking the purple follow button right here from the main menu. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week with more Nintendo content.